Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel, another episode of the URL Fuzzer series. Um, this is episode three, like I promised, we're basically just gonna go over what I've done so far, and, um, you know, episode six will be the next go over episode, and that should be an episode where I have community input. But, I wanted to go over what we've done so far and, you know, just talk about it. And I know really three episodes in, oh, this sounds too soon, but really five episodes, it sounds like too long. And I didn't want to do every four because there's stuff that I also need to learn for episode four. That would actually be episode three if I waited till four. So I didn't want to do that. And I wanted to give time for you guys to give your inputs for episode three. So as you can see, we have the basic episode one fuzzer, which actually I'm going to move this stuff to like the middle just because I can. <laughs> and it's probably not even in the middle. I don't care. And as you can see, this episode was all about just getting it up and working and learning the basics. And as you can see, everything is hard coded. Nothing is uh, set in stone. And I actually even just looking at it now, I see my mistakes from episode two which is another reason why sometimes you should just sit down, look at your code, read it a couple times, and you'll realize what you're doing wrong. So I do realize what I did wrong in episode one, or episode two already, and I know ways that I can improve the code even for episode three. But as you can see, this was all basically hard-coded. Um, all the variables were hard-coded, the window titles were hard-coded, um, and everything was basically hard-coded. But, uh, yeah, that was all episode one was, was basically hard coding it to do what we want it to do, which, in my opinion, maybe in the long run, it's not a good idea if you have a big project in front of you to hard code it all first. But if it's a small project like this, maybe hard code it first and then add your text boxes and stuff. At least in my mind, it makes things a little bit easier because you can see it working if you know it's hard-coded. You don't know if maybe you messed up a text box here or there or something. But that's really all it was for episode one, was just hard-coding it and seeing if it worked. And now we'll move on to episode two. Episode two was a longer episode than I meant it to be because I thought I understood my code and I really realized I went in with way too much confidence. So episode two was all about adding a very basic log right to the form to show you what's going on while you're using the program. It was about um, also adding text boxes to make things customizable. And again, we're using CF0 just for the testing because I know this works with CF0 and we are not to a point yet where we can do dictionary attacks. Um, that's something I have to learn. <laughs> Oops. Um, so basically with episode two, as you can see, we have the file type checkbox or er, combo box. We have a text box for whatever URL you want to use. And we have the numbers. And again, this one is set up in somewhat of a hard coded fashion. If you look at the second, uh, function here. So as you can see, it is actually calling the text boxes. And I realized this is one of my biggest mistakes was I didn't have this and the way that I did this just wasn't a smart idea. I probably could have also just gotten away with like, and then actually coding the basic URL somewhere down here, but doing it as the refreshed one um, also worked. So basically it was, uh, this was the initial setting, but the way I had this set up, it was adding the file names onto it and making like it was searching new directories instead of just downloading the folder, which is not what we wanted. But as you can see, we have some basic checks for if you didn't do the text files and the number boxes correctly, which also this was a headache for a good five, 10 minutes of the episode. Oh my God, don't do these things at 2 a.m. Um, and then this is our basic log code. And eventually we will get into a more advanced log. The entire point of the series is for all of us to learn from each other. Um, maybe I'll even create a section on the Discord where people can submit their code ideas and stuff like that for this. But right now, just leave them in the comments below with a pastebin link and we'll go from there. Uh, don't just leave your code in the comments below because YouTube will screw it up. But as you can see, this is our basic, basic log. 
it really is 2 a.m. I just yawned and I couldn't hold it back and I couldn't get to the pause button or the mute button in time. I'm sorry you had to listen to that. <laughs> but this is our overly basic log. So basically this label refreshes with every new URL it checks and it tells you what URL is being checked. And that's how we caught what was going on here. Um, as you can see, again, this probably isn't needed now because of that because you're basically just naming a URL that already exists. So we can probably put this back to basic URL and be fine. And then something else we caught that took me a little while, actually to the point that I paused it for a while and um, tried to figure it out, was why it wouldn't stop if minimum was greater than or equal to max file number like it normally should. And I ended up figuring out that I had to do some sort of check right here for the number as well as up here. So realistically, I don't need both, but I think it's nice to have both just in case. Now, that's pretty much the gist of it for the two episodes so far, or the three episodes so far. And I want to hear, you know, your comments, concerns, your submissions for custom code for episode four. Uh, or even what you'd like to see come out of this series. I know one of the big things is probably going to be, hey, how do I save it to a specific folder? I don't know yet. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> when I looked into this, it uh, I didn't need to look into saving it to a different folder, so that's why I learned how to do it the way I did, where it's just this. I have tried modifying this, but if you modify this... It doesn't seem to like it, so like, I'll try it real quick. I'll do like, test slash, and we'll build it. We will copy it, and I named it test. I didn't do a check to see if the folder exists, so we're just gonna do that. We're gonna go ep2.gz1, I don't think it's saving. Oh, it is saving here. Cool. So, well, sneak preview of episode four, custom directories. <laughs> ah, whatever. Um, but again, that didn't work last time I tried it. I mean it. It really didn't. But again, you know, we will learn from each other over time. I'm sure there are many ways to improve this code with many ideas. And like I said, um, Credits to anybody who decides to help will be down here. If you'd like me to throw this up on GitHub to make things easier, let me know. Uh, I hate GitHub, but maybe I'll make the sacrifice for you. <laughs> I don't know yet. Uh, but I'm planning on trying to add further on to this. And the reason this series started is because a lot of the tools for um, the leaker uh, world are either custom scripts or like this or are private tools or tools you have to pay for and I want a free option for people who want to get into it and I have used this exact method many times in the past and had success uh, with even just numbers I've never done a dictionary attack where it's a list of words and searches by whatever and maybe in episode three the next one, which will be episode four. I'll do a little sneak preview here. We'll add a new tab, add tab, and we'll do um, directory search EP4. So maybe episode four won't be so much a URL fuzzer video, but a exported list of what directories work on a website and will hard code the string of directories that it searches for. Again, I'm going to have to learn how to use arrays because I don't actually know how to use them. But if you want to help me ahead of time and teach me down in the comments, that is all up to you. And like I also, like I also said, I can uh, make a section on Discord if you want to submit your ideas. <laughs> Excuse me. Now I have the hiccups. What the fucking hell? I'm going to bed. If you have ideas for this, let me know. I'm all ears for learning from you because I know I'm a 
basic noob uh, at this. And I know I can only get better with help from you guys and my own research and learning. So I hope you guys enjoy the series. Uh, this has got to be the longest series I've ever actually kept up to date and running. But I'm very interested in this. I really want to learn how to move forward with this. Uh, so this is going to be fun. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Peace out.